What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're having a look at the Super Boss this time around versus Blackbeard. You can see currently this is the 10 star difficulty event, the regular Kizuna that we all know and love and then of course we have the Super Boss variation. Now the Super Boss variation if you guys have already played a Super Boss Kizuna before, it starts off as the Dex color after you beat it with your Alliance members then it will change to Int, and then it will change to Quick, and it will cycle back around, just like the regular fights, with slightly different gimmicks, which we will get into into today's video. So in this video, all the teams you guys will see will be able to kill, you know, Super Boss, Blackbeard, you know, just for the first few levels at least, like it does like well over a billion damage, you guys are going to be seeing those in today's video. But before we actually get into that, I want to go over the exchange box real quick. Now, I actually have done a lot of the exchanges already, I am currently already in the final box, but just know that in box 5 and in box 6, you'll be able to get the Super Evolution Skull for Kozuki Odin. If you guys have missed it, you get two additional skulls in this Kizuna Clash. So make sure if you guys haven't got the skulls yet, to get the last two skulls here. Also, to get the Blackbeard Super Evolution, because remember he is a 5 star unit that super evolves to a 5 star plus, you have to get one in box 6, and then you have to get the others in box 7. Now I do believe there are going to be some missions regarding the the uh, the Pirate Alliance to get some more uh, to get some more uh, Crystal Skulls, I believe? Uh, I'm not really 100% sure, I haven't actually looked at it too much, yeah, here it is. So you can get some here, you get one from that mission from Clears, you get, I think you get another one, yeah, you get another one here from Assists. So, you basically have to have enough to go through Box 7 at least once to get those Skulls for Blackbeard. But let's actually break down, what does this Blackbeard actually even do? So, I do have my Blackbeard completely leveled up, um, I don't obviously have the Skulls for him yet, but he's getting there, but this is Blackbeard. Now, we'll talk about his super evolved state, because there's no reason to keep an unevolved copy of this unit. This guy is just a straight up upgrade when he does super evolve. So the 5 star plus free to play Blackbeard is a dex fighter driven, and his captain ability provides a 3.75 times attack boost, and a 1.5 times health boost, and dex slots beneficial to both fighter and driven. It's a pretty good free to play captain that we'll definitely see play in the future. His special though is quite crazy actually with three different stages stage one is zero defense you remove five turns of special bind and you get a two times conditional against defense down self procking conditional boost with some utility is great however in the second stage special you not only get all that but you get a 2.25 times conditional and 250 base stat increase or base attack increase for fighter and driven characters it's a nice stage to upgrade but then he's stage three it does the exact same thing as stage 2, except that the 250 boost becomes a 500 boost, and he also reduces all enemies' beneficial effects by one turn. That's super incredible, and it's crazy that a lot of Blackbeards actually have this, the just innate ability to remove any beneficial effect by one turn, so if like the enemy has one turn of damage immunity, or one turn of a barrier, his special will just remove it. It's so powerful, on top of special bind removal, a base attack boost, as well as your conditional boost. And of course, as a crewmate, he does resist special bind. This is going to be a really powerful unit moving forward. Unfortunately, his rumble stuff isn't the best. Um, oh, let's have a look anyway, but it gives you, your dex teammates level 6 health, level 2 defense. It's a good defensive passive. And then his special, 3 enemies for a 30% health cut with high HP. And then does a medium range speed down and defense down. It, it's okay. Um, I don't know. I just don't think you would probably use this guy in a rumble team. But nonetheless, a fantastic free-to-play unit unit that definitely you should get super evolved and maxed out. Jumping into the video, we are first going to start things off against the Dex, the Super Dex variation of Blackbeard. Now, very similar to the original 10-star difficulty version, Fighter, Free Spirit, and Driven characters are all the characters that will be receiving cooldown for this quest. I want to give a huge shout out to my Alliance members, Pappy, Ryoen, Vang, for coming up with uh, team ideas for this Super Boss and for all the variations you guys see in this video today. The Alliance is going super, super crazy, but speaking about what actually 
actually happens in this quest here. And you can see we are trying to charge up the super swap. Uh, one of these ones, I can't remember with ulti page one, because ulti page one's on two of my teams. Uh, in one of them, we actually don't even get the super swap. So, you know, keep that as you will. But uh, anyway, stage two on the dex variation. We have Katarina Devon with 14 million health. I believe it might be 14.5, but give or take. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a slightly above 10 million. And the preemptive of Devon is going to give us normal attacks only, as well as five turns of tandem slots being unbeneficial to our crew and also we get a full board of tandem slots which is fun but if you don't kill Katarina Devon on the first turn she's going to give you attack down now I believe it's five turns of attack down um, and after that she will actually run away um, these mini bosses here on stage two after the first turn they give you a debuff and then they'll just run away and bring you out directly towards Blackbeard now of course Blackbeard himself being dex he becomes a super dex type unit so it is ideal to have strength super type um, for this fight so that your affinity is you know in an ideal situation but also in terms of debuffs the super bosses don't actually have a lot of debuffs that get applied here because they want you to do as much damage as possible so debuffs should be like not really much of an issue here you get given five turns of despair and your slots are changed into empty slots so with this team here we have a lot of damage here bond clay coming in super clutch being able to change into whatever color we want and whatever class we want meaning the ulti in page one special will be able to activate bond clay is actually ridiculously good plus the 1500 base attack boost for our whole team yeah it's it's really really nice unfortunately his super type does do a chain lock but that's why we use a chain locking effect prior to launching the super type of bond play just to ensure that we get the uh, more beneficial chain buff for our team All right, moving on now to the int variation. Once again, using Bon Clay as our captain. Now, this time we are using Roger and Whitebeard as our friend captain, and we have our own Roger and Whitebeard as well. But once again, you do need strength, sight, or int characters to receive cooldown for this fight. Otherwise, you're going to have to do a lot of stall, which is actually what we do in this team here. We do a lot of stall just to ensure that we get the specials ready on the final stage. Luckily, Bon Clay also has a cooldown reduction special, which means that that actually allows us to get the sugar and the ulti page one special for the final boss stage. Very, very important important. Pizarro, once again, around 14 million health, normal attacks only, and one turn of paralysis. But if you have Roger set up as the captain, he actually resists that paralysis for you. And after turn one, if you do leave him alive, he's going to remove your beneficial effects and give you five turns of a 1.2 times attack boost. But that doesn't matter because we have Roger and Whitebeard to buff it to a three times boost. And in this time around, Blackbeard, he is going to be super int typing. And uh, this is, again, why you'd probably want some type of effect to get a, like, a, just just to get a super typing for your crew but also uh, two turns of enemies defense up is going to be applied here now the way that we're getting around it for this team is we do have the support rev recruit ace that came out at the start of the month on roger and whitebeard to remove it and you also get a full board of block slots but luckily yamato can change them into wano which gives us not only the uh, amazing ability to get those huge damage outputs there but also increased damage taken is able to be applied to blackbeard as well as that really significant chain boost that yamato does provide and just just peep how much damage this team actually does here and of course with with bond clay we can get the super typing for our psy characters and we can also go ahead and get the uh, ability to get the uh, conditional boost with ulti and page one this team does so much damage definitely the highest team you guys will see in this entire video i'll leave you guys with this one definitely check it out and uh, i'll see you guys in the last super boss variation
Moving on now to the final super boss variation versus quick. Now for this one, you want to build a, fi a fighter free spirit or cerebral team. With this team, we are building a pretty obscure cerebral based team, but you know it's it's odd. But you guys will see how it works in a moment. Um, for this variation, though, Shiryu is going to be the mini boss on stage two. Once again, has a pretty high amount of HP comparatively to the ten star difficulty. But the preemptive attack, normal attacks only once again. Five turns that your bomb slots will be treated as non beneficial, as well as giving you a full board of bomb slots and also if you don't kill him on the first turn he will go ahead and give you a five turn chain lock now it's probably going to be like a 1.1 chain lock 1.2 something like that something that's not beneficial to your team at all and then on the final boss versus blackbeard he is going to be a quick unit with super quick typing he gives you block slots once again which is interesting and he will give you two turns of special bind so having some type of way to get around that is going to be pretty vital and we're getting around it this time with Sabo and Ace uh, because we have Luffy as our captain here we get this amazing last tap of course but the uh, old boost from Ace and Sabo normally is only for free spirit and shooters but with Luffy it becomes a rainbow boost and of course we did extend the chain boundary from Crocodile so that we actually have it for this final stage so we have lots of damage here of course once again getting the base attack boost from Bon Clay the attack boost from Law Sugar of course and you guys will see this does a lot of damage as well but i really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video <laughs>